Oh, how sweet it is. And we're joined now by Chef Alina Eisenhower from Sweet. Now, I, wa I want to start by clearing something up here, Alina, okay? There's this fancy French baker in New York City that created what essentially became this ridiculous food phenomenon. Now, he, he called it a cronut, this, this croissant donut thing. Yeah. People were lining up for, like, weeks to get this. But the truth is, you claim that you were serving these, like, years and years before he ever started doing it. I was serving a version. The, the genius that he had, I think, was calling it a cronut because, right. I, because everyone recognizes the name donut, right. you know? And I never had that genius <laughs> moment to think to call it a cronut. <laughs> but making fried croissant dough, which is essentially what it is. Mine are a different shape than his, okay. but I've been doing it since 2006, I think, was the first time. It was literally 2 o'clock in the morning with an intern, and we had some extra dough scraps. <laughs> right. And I looked at the fryer and was like, hey, let's try frying it. Right. It was delicious. So we kept making them, I and we originally made them from dough scraps, and then they became so popular that now we make a lot of dough every week just to make our, we call them dosans. Dosans, Donut, see? croissant. Right. Croissant, you know. You, you literally, you whatever. missed it by like a year or two. If you just said dosant yep. at the beginning, you'd be multi skillionaire I mean, right. why not? There'd be sweets all over the world. But they are absolutely amazing. A little Thank bit of chocolate in there, they're, they're so good. Now, of course, you have both the, the sweet side, at sweet, and yep. the savory side. So let's go yep. back and forth here a little bit, okay? All right. Get an appetizer. I love a grilled cheese sandwich, especially at your place because you do these, these little cute grilled cheese sliders. So tell me what's going on with these ones. So we start with a uh, house-made focaccia bread. Yeah. That's a two-day process, and it's delicious all by itself, but makes a really good slider. So then on, on that, we put our um, cheese mix. is a little bit different. It's ricotta and asiago. Mm. Cheese is mixed together, and then it's grilled on a panini press until it's kind of all melty and ooey. You know, and grilled cheese, the best part is, like, if it's runny and gooey, yes. gooey and the stuff coming out the sides. <laughs> and then we serve it with a homemade tomato jam, which is um, oven-dried tomatoes that are cooked down into this kind of sweet tart tomato jam, and a little bit of balsamic reduction to yes. dip it in. It, yeah, it's one of the most popular things we've had for a long time. Definitely a staff favorite. Yeah, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. You can tell how much detail, even just something like a grilled cheese, you're putting into it. Now, let's talk about detail and, and creativity with your s'mores. Everyone knows s'mores. Graham cracker, chocolate, marshmallow, pretty simple. Stick it in a fire. You don't do it that simple, though. You, so, so tell me, this is like a sophisticated s'more. It is. Well, if you're going to do a s'more in a restaurant, I've seen them places before, and they bring them to you either already made, which I'm sorry, but half the fun of a s'more is roasting your marshmallow yourself, of right? Course. Everyone has their own technique and their own way they like to do it. <laughs> so i got to let you roast your marshmallow. But the other thing about a s'more is that I wanted, when people had it, to bring back food is about memories and about, you know, feelings. I wanted people to have the s'more and it to remind them of being at a campfire and having a s'more. Mm -hmm. So we, we cold smoke our marshmallows. We make homemade marshmallows, and then we smoke them with this cool little toy called a smoking gun that allows us to smoke things without any heat hmm. so that they smell and taste like a campfire yep. even before you put them over the little fire that we give you and then we make um, homemade cookies to go with it the flavors change sometimes and you get to really put your s'more together at your table you know, on one occasion the dessert actually brought a girl to tears <laughs> It was, was a pretty flattering thing as a yeah. chef that I could bring out some, that much emotion in somebody. Yes. But, um, yeah, and that's, both, cool. that's both tragic and, and concerning, right? but also beautiful right. in a lot of ways. <laughs> Some people tell me they watch this show and cry all the time, especially when my brother Dave is on. <laughs> all right, but let's move on to the next thing. Sweet, savory, sweet. Back to savory, okay? French fries. You can do them. A lot of places serve them frozen or just regular fries. Maybe they make them themselves. You don't do regular fries. Rainbow no. fries. We do. What is we that? call them rainbow fries. So rainbow fries are three different types of sweet potato. We use a traditional um, orange sweet potato, most people are familiar with, a white sweet potato, which to me tastes a little bit between a regular potato and a sweet potato. It's starchy, um, but it just has this little bit of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. And then a purple sweet potato, which are Okinawan sweet potatoes. They're from Hawaii. They're yeah. a little bit harder to get. They come with our house-made caramel sauce, which people caramel sometimes sauce. think is weird, but yes. we taste it together. Again, that idea for me was the whole sweet potato casserole at Thanksgiving, like uh -huh. sweet and... I see. It's all uh, about the memories. Yeah. Now, now the, the lasting memory for me, if I'm going to go to sweet is the cheesecake. Yeah. I am a huge cheesecake lover. And I, you know, usually you get that New York style cheesecake, a huge slice and the, you know, strawberry on. But again, this looks nothing like a cheesecake that you really get anywhere else. So what's the preparation here? It looks nothing like it. It does taste, the taste of the actual cheesecake portion is very traditional New York cheesecake. Cheesecake is the first dessert I ever learned to make. It was my father's favorite dessert. Hmm. So it was the first thing I perfected. And it's a traditional New York cheesecake in the denseness of it, in the flavoring of it. What's not traditional is the shape. We bake them individually. So if you feel like, you know, this dessert was specially made for you, this right. little dessert. 
We have had people question it before. I had a guy once ask me when I delivered it to him, is this really cheesecake? I ordered cheesecake. And I said, it is. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly sure this is a cheesecake, sir. Cheesecake. Did he start to cry by any chance? <laughs> he did not. <laughs> I kind of wish he would. But, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, if, if you want to be so moved by something delicious, <laughs> you will just start absolutely bawling with deliciousness. You can get something sweet at 72 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester and at sweetworcester.com.